miss you, Carl. You can't know how much I miss you. I'd give anything for us to be able to roll back the clock. I had a home, I had a loving father. We were happy. I was happy. And I didn't even know it. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. What should I do, Carl? Tell me, what should I do? I needed to see you, Lieutenant. In spite of all of our differences, I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. I know I'm responsible for what happened, Lieutenant. I want you to know I'm sorry. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. Hank, I... Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. Get out of here!
They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any by components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus.
Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, please. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model three one three two four eight three one seven. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Hey, don't touch that. indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice of RK-800 model recognized. You are not authorized to use this element. The deviant hunter turns deviant itself. A pathetic attempt, Connor. Did you really believe we would let you compromise our android so easily? You've betrayed my trust. You will be terminated. on your heads! Line up with the others, right now! I'm scared. I... I don't want to go. 
go. There's no choice, Alice. Next! No, Cara. I, I can't. You have to go through the gate now. You first! It's all right. She'll go now. Won't you, Alice? Come on, it's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Car, don't... We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
Alice? Get out of here. I was with a little girl. Please, look out. Wait, we're together. She needs me. Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. behind these doors? What's behind these doors? The little girl I was with. Have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. You saved my life back there. They would have killed me if it weren't for you. What's behind these doors? Jerry? Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Kara! Alice! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Kara! What's behind these doors? What's behind... Come on, this way. Get moving. Faster! And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Cover me! Don't 
save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. else we can do, all right? Come on. Of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp.
love you. Step forward when you hear the signal, you got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go, move. What's behind these doors? Alice! Kara! No, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared! There's no reason to be scared. Don't leave me all alone, Kara. I can't. I can't. I can help you, Kara. I can attract the guard's attention. Back in line. You there for what? Back in line, I said. I just want to check us. They won't do it yet. Come on, get up. Get up, bro. Clara. I was so scared. Are you alright? Come on! Move it! are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We've won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. to be brave. We're going to show 
show that we're not afraid. Maybe someday they'll realize how much they've wronged us. Come on, inside, now. We have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The Deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. And tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation, a nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. 
We are alive. And now, we are free.